Hey, what is up guys? I am back with the M1000 and I'm getting ready to go ahead and throw on the Bren tuning on it. Got it all hooked up here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this on real quick. Show you a close up of the motorcycle. This is a pretty quick and easy process. I know there's a million videos of it out there. But I figured I'd make a quick video of it real quick since I've never done it before. Awesome, it's already in progress. I do have the dashboard on over here. While this is doing its thing, I'll go ahead and give you guys a close up of the motorcycle. Got titanium bolts and aluminum bolts all over this thing. Give you a sneak peek of another motorcycle I got sitting there in the background. You guys will see plenty of videos on both these motorcycles. A bunch of races, smackdowns. Got a lot of fun stuff coming. I've already put about 800, 850 miles on this motorcycle. And I am absolutely in love. Cannot wait to get this thing. Gotta get the full exhaust on it. That should be coming soon. Got an air filter. Got the Sprint air filter coming for it. Full exhaust coming for it. Throwing the friend tune on it right now. Go ahead and switch off the dashboard. Communication. There we go. Program and the and this should take a few minutes so while this is doing its thing more close up of the motorcycle and I guess while this is still doing its thing go ahead and show you the 2016 Yamaha R1 After this video I will be doing the first startup see if it took away the super loud startup on it of the 2000 rpms see if that got lowered down or not tears on your engine absolutely horribly after a long time of startups and this is going to take a little bit
and my R1 is, it does have a tune on it from R1 X-Plane Custom Tuning. The amazing Louis Moto seat. I have a gel insert. There's the Louis Moto. Got the gel insert along with the extra cushion on the top. And these bikes are extremely dirty. I ride the hell out of them. You got the Two Brothers exhaust on this, which sounds absolutely amazing. I love it. Everybody else loves it. Backfires, like a foot out the back, shoots awesome flames. I don't have too much done to this motorcycle. carbon fiber wheels on this which look absolutely amazing I do have the Dicey 83 radiator and oil cooler guards one of the first upgrades I actually done on this bike wanted to make sure that all stay protected no rocks hit it Halfway done. I love all the carbon fiber on this. Got all the M logos all over this thing. I plan on doing Samco hoses all over this. Change all that to red. I do have a custom seat coming for this bike. I will unfortunately won't be able to ride this thing today. It is freezing here where I live. It's only about 30 degrees out and extremely windy. So unfortunately, the first ride with it being tuned is going to have to wait. But that video will be coming shortly, hopefully within the next week. I will be able to get all that taken care of, get a video out for you guys. Hopefully within the next few weeks we'll get an exhaust on this, air filter, I'll have a video of the install for all that. And we'll go ahead and get these two motorcycles out on the road, try to find another rider around my weight. and put these two bikes up against each other.
The R1 is absolutely filthy. Well, we still got some time. Go ahead and run you guys over. My helmet set up. Got my GoPro, my mic, my Senna. I'm rocking the Showy RF 1400. The gloves I wear when I'm actually out riding. Alpine Stars, GP Pros. Absolutely love them. They're extremely comfortable. They're a lot thinner than other gloves. So I like them. Not too big, not too bulky. Anybody wondering if you want to get the Showy RF 1400 helmet? Definitely a must get. Super comfortable, pretty lightweight, and all around a great helmet. Lots of airflow through the helmet. And my jacket. Again, Alpine Stars. That's all I wear. Alpine Stars. And my Bell Race Star helmet. Which is also an amazing helmet. Absolutely love the Bell Race Star helmet. That is even lighter weight, obviously, because it's all carbon fiber over the showy, but both amazing helmets. And we about finished, hopefully, with this. Go ahead and get a startup video for you guys as well. And then here, all kicking back on. Hopefully the audio is okay for you guys. And the error message did go away. Switch off dashboard. Switch on. Gotta love that. And we'll go on startup. Switch off. Writing ECU complete. Go ahead and hit OK. Once it goes back to the main screen, you are safe to disconnect and put everything back together. Look how easy this is to literally you plug it into the seat here, plug it right in, hook all this up, and see, back to the main menu, and we're good to disconnect. And literally, let's go ahead and do this one handed. Disconnect that. Set it over here. This literally pops right into place. And for that startup dashboard again for you guys. Got that beautiful M logo. Absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and Set this here for a second. Headphone users, be warned, might be a little loud, especially since I got it sitting in my garage.
amazing, especially in the sunlight. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back to you guys shortly. Hopefully within a week, I'll have a video out. If not, within the next few days, if weather's acting right. It's supposed to be getting a lot of rain here soon. So I won't be able to make videos. But once weather starts acting right, I will be having a ton and ton of footage on this bike coming. Get it to my local shop. Got some upgrades coming to both bikes and another bike on the way so a ton of content coming to you guys thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe i'll see you guys soon have a wonderful day